We took a zero day after arriving in Waynesboro, Virginia. This means a day of rest with no trail miles hiked. It was needed to help repair our feet after walking several days in the rain. Once we got back on trail, we immediately entered Shenandoah National Park, which requires a permit that can be obtained at a self-registration kiosk. The first couple of days in the park were marked by cool, sunny weather, easy climbs, and smooth trails. To through-hike the Appalachian Trail requires a significant time commitment of roughly six months. It also usually requires savings of around $1,000 to $1,200 per month in order to cover the costs of meals, resupplies, occasional hostels or hotels, shuttles, and sometimes gear upgrades or replacements. The time commitment is the biggest hurdle for most people who are interested in hiking the trail. It's an activity that is difficult to impossible to balance with a job or career, or with responsibilities such as a spouse and kids. Due to these constraints, the two largest groups of people on the trail are traditionally the recently graduated and the recently retired. I fall into the latter category, and most of the retirees on the trail did so early, while they still have the physical ability to handle the demands of a 2,000 mile hike. I think they're also my lover. <laughs> yeah, I love my mom.
The 108-mile stretch of the AT through Shenandoah National Park was some of the nicest of the trail so far. The weather was excellent, the hiking easy, the views frequent, and the park has several camp stores and wayside restaurants that offer many options for meals and resupplies. Additionally, due to the trail's proximity to Skyline Drive, we received frequent trail magic in the form of hot meals from trail angels including Brick, Breakfast Guy, and Mama Geo. We crossed the park in five days and took another zero day after reaching the town of Front Royal. The final stretch of the AT in Northern Virginia between Front Royal and Harper's Ferry passes through the infamous roller coaster, which is a series of about 10 steep and rocky climbs that are 400 to 500 feet high. While this section is difficult, most hikers are relieved to finally be done with Virginia and can celebrate passing a thousand total miles hiked as the trail crosses the Shenandoah River and enters West Virginia. Yeah, it overlooks the Ohio River, and uh... <laughs> 
see.